Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to yet another video. I hope you all are doing fine. And today's video is gonna be an Eid makeup tutorial. And if you're watching this video on the day of Eid, then Eid Mubarak to all of you. So I've created this beautiful look for Eid this year. Regardless of the color or the type of outfit that you go for, this makeup is gonna suit all of your attires. So you are absolutely covered for Eid. So if you want to know how I achieved this look, then there is a detailed tutorial of this look ahead. So keep watching this video till the very, very end. And if you're new to this channel, hi, my name is Sony Mishra. I post beauty and lifestyle content here on my channel. So please take out a moment and subscribe to my channel down below. And don't forget to hit the notification bell right next to it so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. Now without any further blabbering, let's just dive right into the video. So let's begin with our makeup. I will link all the products that I'm using in today's video in the description box below so you can check them out. With that being said, I will moisturize my face to prep it for the makeup. It is a very very important step so that your makeup glides on smoothly and there are no dry patches under your makeup and also it will help your skin to look very very healthy and glowing underneath the makeup. And now I will moisturize my lips. I'm using a lip balm. This is a new lip balm that I have been using and I am absolutely loving it. So with that, my face is all prepped and ready for the makeup to dive in. I will start with priming my face now. So I am using this sugar primer stick and I am applying it on my T-zone. It is actually really good. It is giving me that blurring effect. So I will go in with the foundation next. Now today because it is a festive look, I am going for a full coverage base. So I am using this Maybelline Superstay foundation and I am mixing it with this Lakme foundation because this one oxidizes a little bit dark on my skin. So that balances it out. So I have mixed a little bit of both the foundations on the back of my hand. And now I will dot it all over my face. Now I'll blend it using a damn beauty blender. Now I absolutely love this foundation uh, duo because uh, the Maybelline Superstay foundation in itself is a really, really good coverage foundation and it blends in so beautifully. It is the perfect foundation, one of my favorites. But just because it oxidizes a little bit dark on my skin and that is why I mix it with a lighter shade foundation. But this combo works very beautifully on my skin. So whenever it is a special occasion or a festival, I usually opt for this combo and it lasts a very very long time. And it gives a beautiful finish to the face. So I really really like using this. So my foundation is now done and it has covered almost all the scars that I have. It has given me a pretty good coverage. Now I'll go in with the e.l.f. Camo Concealer and I will apply it under my eyes to highlight my eyes and uh, a little bit on the areas that I need extra coverage on. And now I will blend it again using the same beauty blender. So my foundation and concealer both are done. Now I will move on to give the dimensions to my face. So firstly I'll be using the cream products and then I'll move on to the powder. So I'm using this uh, contour stick. Uh, it is basically a foundation stick but I bought it in a darker shade. So it will act like a contour for me. It is a pretty good contour shade. A very cool toned brown. This one is from My Glam. And I will blend this again with my same uh, beauty blender. Now I will use again a concealer corrector stick uh, from NY Bay. This is in peachy kind of a shade. So I will use this as my cream blush. It looks very very good as a blush. I will concentrate it more towards my cheekbone rather than the apples of my cheek. So that it gives me a beautiful lifted effect. And now I will blend it again with the same beauty blender. Now using a concealer like uh, peachy colored concealer as your blush is a good technique because uh, because it is a concealer it will give you a good coverage so you get an extra coverage as well if you like uh, 
have any problematic areas so it will give you an extra coverage these as a blush tends to last a way longer than any other cream blushes so i really like using this as my blush and you can see the shade looks very very pretty as a blush so i really really enjoy using my corrector sticks as my blush and uh, yeah so that is also done now i will set my face before it starts creasing and for that i'm using this banana powder from the wet n wild contour palette i have been loving this powder lately to set my uh, base because it is so light and the way it beautifully blends into your skin and sets your makeup in place it does not feel cakey on my face whatsoever which is my biggest concern when uh, using a powder and for like us brown tone girls this is a beautiful powder because uh, it is a banana powder and it will give that brightening and lift to your face so now that being done i will now move on to the powder contour and blush so i'm using this sugar palette today for that this one is in the shade 01 subtle summit so i will lightly dab this bronzing shade over where i did my cream contour just to enhance it a bit more and uh, it looks very beautiful if you do your cream works first and then top it on with your uh, powders also it tends to stay for a longer time and uh, yeah i will also contour my nose i have been a lot into nose contouring these days so the powder contour is also done so i'll apply the blush from the same palette so it is a beautiful corally dusty rosy kind of a color and uh, it looks beautiful and i think it will look beautiful on every indian skin tone even if you have the lighter uh, skin tone or you have the darker deeper skin tones it will look beautiful on everyone i really really enjoy using this blush it is beautiful and it is a uh, kind of similar to the wet and wild wet and wild mellow wine blush my base is almost complete i will set it using this setting spray from forever 52 so that setting spray has beautifully melted all the powders together and my base look absolutely flawless today i am really really liking how it turned out Now I will move into my eye makeup and to begin with the eye makeup I will first do my eyebrows and I am using the sugar eyebrow pencil in the shade 03 Woody Scooby this is my all time favorite eyebrow pencil I even got over with this pencil it was in my product empties video I am linking it here you can check that video out and uh, I literally got over with this pencil but sugar was kind enough to send a, a new one to me in the pr but i really really love using this eyebrow pencil i do not use any other eyebrow pencil than this so my eyebrows are done i naturally have very bushy eyebrows so i do not need to do very much on my eyebrows i just fill the little bit gaps that i have and i have already prepped my eyelids with concealer so i'll just directly go on with my eyeshadow so for my eye shadow today i'm using this beautiful such a luxurious eye shadow palette it is a nine shade eye shadow palette it is from my glam manish malhotra range this is the first time i'm going to use this palette but i did swatch it on my hand and this palette is amazing i literally am in love and the shade range is quite good i am definitely going to go ahead and buy the other shades from this uh, range I absolutely love you can see in one dip what a pigment this has given me it is such a beautifully pigmented palette and it is blending in so well even a beginner can use this palette and the shadows are absolutely buttery not at all powdery or chalky so i absolutely love it so i am applying this brown shade uh, to darken my outer corners and to deepen my crease a little bit now that that's done i will take this beautiful golden shimmer shade and i'll apply it to the center of my eyelid and also towards the inner corners i'll try it with my finger yes with finger the shimmer shades apply so beautifully and intensely so the shimmer shade here has a little bit of fallout but nothing that you can't work with so i'm just dusting off with this powder brush now i will apply the same dark brown shade to my lower lash line now i will line my eyes with this kajal this one is the stroke of genius uh, coal from sugar again 
So I'm gonna line both my upper and lower lash line with this Kajal pencil. So I've applied the plum mascara and it is very very good. You should check it out. And now I'll apply a pair of eyelashes off camera. So the lashes are now applied and it has just elevated the look and it looks beautiful. Now because this eye makeup is very very neutral, it is not of a particular color. So you can wear it with absolutely any outfit that you have. And also because it is so neutral, you can go on with any color on your lips according to your dress or according to your mood obviously. So this uh, dress that I'm wearing today has this beautiful red dupatta. It has uh, orange undertones. So I'm applying a beautiful red lipstick to complement and go well with my dress. And for that I will be using this lip liner for, from Swiss Beauty in the shade 5 Hot Red. <laughs> And for my lipstick, I'm using this beautiful red lipstick in the shade Star Scarlet Starlet from Sugar. Now, this is one of my favorite lipstick from Sugar. <laughs> Now this is a beautiful red lipstick again it has beautiful orange undertones and it goes beautifully well with my dupatta so the look is all complete now the last step is left that is highlighter so again from the same sugar palette i am taking this highlighter and i will uh, highlight the high points of my face starting from my cheekbones now this is a very very subtle highlighter you can build it up to an extent but it looks so beautiful i absolutely love this highlighter and i also love the other shade from the sugar range only uh, they, their highlighters are really really good they give you beautiful satin finish and looks very pretty so i am highlighting all the usual points on my face and my eyes and with that my makeup is absolutely complete this is the look that I came up with and I'm absolutely loving this look. Uh, let me know in the comment box below what you think of this look and if you try out this look don't forget to tag me on your Instagrams. So like this video and share it with your friends and families and if you have not subscribed to my channel yet please hit that red subscribe button for more such beauty skincare and lifestyle related content. Now I'll see you super super soon in my next video. Till then stay safe stay healthy. Bye bye.